All right, music fans, welcome back. It's Dave. It is the Real Music Observer, observing real music in real time for real people. Yep, just like you, just like me, just like Tommy Shaw and James J.Y. Young and my pal Dennis DeYoung. Of course, I don't know Dennis personally, and Dennis probably wouldn't be in favor of this video, so um, don't, you know, don't send it to Dennis, but uh, someone's got to say it. So I'm going to say it. So JY today did this interview, was on Ultimate Classic Rock. Someone sent it to me. And by the way, I read into Dennis DeYoung's comments earlier, uh, and I did a three-minute video basically saying that it looks like it's over because Dennis basically outed his former buddy as being in need of money in 1997. And the manager of Styx at the time said, hey, Tommy's got a cash flow problem and he wants to get the band back together again. Would you be willing to go on the road? Dennis was very busy at the time, but he said, sure, I'll go on the road. Head explodes at that point. If you're a fan, look, if you're a fan of the current Sticks lineup and you think it's all just great, Lawrence Gowan isn't uh, a member of the Lollipop Guild and you don't mind the spinning keyboard and you don't mind the fact that they didn't find anyone who could sing like Dennis DeYoung, okay? Gowan may be a talented dude, he may be a nice guy. He does not sound like DDY. All right. Mark Shearer. Here's a couple of here. Hey, Sticks. Toby Hitchcock. Mark Shearer. There you go. Find a keyboard player, too, because I'm sure neither of those guys play keyboards. Or if they do, it's, you know, maybe you need a keyboard player. I don't know. That's not my problem. Okay. So if you had solved that problem, I probably wouldn't be as hypercritical here. Uh, the other issue is Dennis wants to be in his band. He's the founder of the band, all right? He's the guy that wrote, arranged, produced. By the way, you're still not playing the band's biggest song, which is Babe. So uh, it's not Sticks if you're not playing Babe. I'm sorry. Biggest song ever. And you guys were totally for that song when Dennis played it for his wife at the birthday party. So don't revise history, JY. Don't revise it, all right? As a fan... I am utterly disappointed that you're sitting there and saying, well, we gave Dennis too much. Basically saying that we allowed Dennis to do what Dennis did back in the 80s. And, you know, he hung himself and then he hung us. Wow. <laughs> That's a holy crap, Batman. Okay. Again, Dennis says, you know what we would have done? We would have went on tour, had the big stadium tour, played the greatest hits. We take a couple of deep breaths and then we just, you know, reconcile and get on with it. But nope, um, Tommy was gone to uh, embark on a very unsuccessful solo career. It wasn't until Damn Yankees came along that, uh, and that's how you know creativity. Look, I'm not saying Dennis had this great solo career compared to Tommy, but uh, out of the box, he's the lead vocalist for Styx and he's a little bit more recognizable because he's sung more songs, and Desert Moon was a fairly big song. I mean, it was, uh, it was played. It, it got more airplay than anything that Tommy ever uh, had a solo hit for. And of course, Tommy had Damn Yankees, and that was very successful, but uh, that was a team effort and a smart way for Tommy to get back into things. Okay, I'm going off on a tangent, though. Here's the crux. JY in this interview basically says, hey, after... Dennis killed the goose that laid the golden egg. He's blaming Dennis and that we allowed Dennis to do this. So he's kind of taking a little blame, but he's basically saying that Dennis screwed everything up. But we, meaning himself and Tommy and anyone else and Gowan or whoever, we helped resurrect the band. And now the band is bigger than ever. It's a behemoth. It's so big and it's so huge that we have to tour with like nine other bands to get anybody to notice us, all right? It's like Sticks, REO, 38 Special, Don Felder. Uh, this year it's Tesla and Joan Jett. And I'd be more interested in seeing Tesla because they will kick your butt all over the stage. Uh, and Joan Jett, she's no slouch either. The point is, you guys didn't do anything. You were dormant until this very last album that came out, which was decent because you hired an outside writer to help you produce, arrange, and write the songs. All right? And imagine if you had DDY in your little Mission to Mars thing. And by the way, nobody's going to Styx concerts 
to hear anything off a of mission to Mars. They're just, they're not. They want to hear, but you know what they want to hear? They want to hear Babe, but you're not going to play Babe. You know, have you focus tested Babe like you did Roboto? Oh, well, we always liked Babe. <laughs> yeah, just, okay. Talk about revisionism. Wow. I mean, this whole video is basically one big, holy crap, Batman sticks. And here it is, we're going into Independence Day, and these guys, they just won't quit with their stupidity. I mean, this is just beyond stupid. So, folks, just the crux of this, it's the end. You're, not, you're never going to see a reunited sticks at this point. JY, Tommy, they're holding their ground. Uh, there could be a promoter out there that would offer them millions of dollars to tour, and um, it's a no-go because, again, the things that they just said about Dennis, and that's why Dennis said, hey, Tommy, I was there when you had the cash flow problem, and Return to Paradise was a huge success, and if you watch the video footage, if you watch the interaction, this was Styx back doing what they do in the old days and doing it really well. And it could, again, happen, but, you know, there's, there's something. These guys are something. That's all I can tell you. JY and Tommy, good luck with this fake sticks band. Good luck to you. You know, uh, I'm not going to talk about this anymore. Uh, at least I was giving you guys a little bit of interest. People got more interested in sticks, even though a lot of folks that follow me, uh, follow me because of the journey stuff, uh, they started asking me a lot of questions about sticks, and then getting into the music, but I'm done with this. I'm going to promote Dennis, okay? Dennis puts on a better show, a more realistic show, and they got August Zadra, so he doesn't need Tommy Shaw. In fact, August sounds as good, if not better, than Tommy in his prime. He sounds like a younger version of Tommy Shaw, and the band looks very content and very happy, and they'll play the entire Styx catalog. So go see Dennis DeYoung in concert, everybody. All right, I'm done with this. Totally done with this. See you soon.